Hadoop helps to leverage the opportunities provided by big data and overcome the challenges it poses. Hadoop is an open source, Java-based programming framework that supports the processing of large data sets in a distributed computing environment. It is based on Google File System, or GFS. Hadoop runs a number of applications on distributed systems with thousands of nodes involving petabytes of data. It has a distributed file system called Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS, which enables fast data transfer among the nodes. Further, it leverages a distributed computation framework called MapReduce. Let us look at the difference between Hadoop and traditional RDBMS in the next screen. By now, there might be a question that if there is so much of data, then why can't we just use traditional RDBMS systems? To address the question, we will put across the difference between the two. RDBMS systems process the data in the form of transactions, and concurrency control ensures that data integrity is not compromised at the time of data processing. In RDBMS, the schema and structure of the tables are predefined before inserting the data and is excellent when read and write are needed to be performed. RDBMS work on expensive servers and failures are rare. In case of a failure, the recovery mechanisms are available. In Hadoop, the system processes the data in the form of jobs. There is no concurrency control and no predefined structure of database. The primary or unique keys can be identified and modified at the time of executing the MapReduce functions. Hadoop systems are good only when one has to write once and read multiple times. It can be run on cheap commodity hardware. Failures are common, but fault tolerance due to rack involvement is very high. In the next screen, we will look into the history and milestones in Hadoop. Hadoop originated from the Nutch open source project on search engines and works over distributed network nodes. In 2003 and 2004, Google released two papers that provided insight into their success. The Google File System, or GFS, and MapReduce, simplified data processing on large clusters. The papers told the world how Google performed large-scale data processing. In July 2005, Nutch used GFS to perform MapReduce operations. In February 2006, Nutch started a Lucene sub-project which led to the era of Hadoop. In April 2007, Yahoo started using Hadoop on a thousand-node cluster. In January 2008, Apache took over Hadoop and made it a top-level project. In July 2008, a 4,000-node cluster with Hadoop was tested by Apache. The performance of that cluster was surprisingly the fastest when compared to the other technologies implemented that year. In May 2009, a test revealed that Hadoop successfully sorted a petabyte of data in 17 hours. Hadoop reached version 1.0 in December 2011. It is completely open source and written in Java. In the next screen, we will discuss Hadoop core services and components. Major components of Hadoop are Hadoop Distributed File System HDFS runs on commodity machines, which are low-end-cost hardware. It is highly fault-tolerant and efficient enough to process huge amount of data. Name node is the brain of the system. It stores the metadata of the data blocks, along with location of data blocks. If this name node crashes, the entire system is dead. Secondary name node is the replica of primary name node. This is used to ensure that even if the primary name node crashes, Hadoop system is not dead, but namespace image on secondary name node can be used to restart the system. Data node 
stores the blocks of data. Job Tracker schedules client jobs and creates map or reduce tasks and schedules them. It can run on the same machine as name node or different node. Task Tracker runs on data nodes. Its primary responsibility is to run map reduce tasks assigned by the name node. In the next screen, we will look into Hadoop Distributed File System Architecture. Architecture of Hadoop is made of master and slave concept. The name node is the master, and data nodes are the slaves. Name node is the brain of the system and is accessing client data. Data nodes manage the storage of data. The data is split into files of one or more blocks. When a client needs a data, it first interacts with name node that holds the metadata and replies back to client with location of the data on data nodes. After this, client starts interaction with data node till the time data requirement is completed. Let us look into major organizations using Hadoop in the next screen. For reference, we have listed down details of a few organizations that use Hadoop along with the usage needs. Amazon uses Hadoop to perform next-to-real-time analysis to offer its customers data-driven products. Most of the support research work, like Web Search and Yahoo, is done in Hadoop. AOL uses Big Data Analytics to perform sentiment analysis to understand customer behavior. One of the Hadoop algorithms in Facebook is supposed to analyze photos, videos, or forums to avoid any obscene material. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.